Rails have got one of these at Chatteris that they've done up. C Reg one, that's blue and white mainly. Red, that's stunning. Do you know what the guy's going to finish it as? Do you know? I've no idea. I'm a bit coy about talk. I don't know it. I know the, I've met him. You met but, the man? Yeah, but I don't. He used to run his own lorries, right. and a lot of what he bought came from Ken Thomas at Guy Hearn which were green and cream and red, and he used to put his name on them and just leave them in Ken's colours. So he hasn't really got his own livery. So I don't know what he's thinking of. But he'll do something. Yeah, oh yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it ends up. I was just talking to Brian. That one that Raoul, Trevor Raoul and his wife have got at Chatless, I don't know of another F7 that works. Which is terrible. When you think in the 80s, every third lorry was an F7 and you didn't bat an eyelid. It's the same as Ford Sierras when it then became uh, Vauxhall Cavaliers. Every third car was a. And then one day you think. I haven't seen one of them. You see one in the car park, I haven't seen one of them lately. So would you like to take this home, son? That needs a lot of work. I've got two P100s in bits as we speak, and two David Brown tractors going rotten as we speak, and I've got enough projects, I to, think. To last you for a five, few forever, years. Forever, mate. I've been trying to start them for years, and that just doesn't happen, does it? It's all something happening. But as long as someone is going to do this, yeah. that's not the job for me, is the answer. This is this is a really nice old machine, isn't it? I mean, I have to say, it's in a disgusting condition because it's been laying about for yonks, yes. isn't it? Well, yes, but, is but the give us a little bit of a pot of history on this truck. Well, that, that is a bit of a mystery, actually, to me. This this is A eight oh nine RTL, and Brian christened it Richard the Lionheart. He's got all these funny. You can't keep up with his brain or his brother. I think that's where I get some of my eccentricness from is that a word <laughs> yeah it'll do. but normans of cransford used to come to my dad's farm with pig food they had some blower trucks and they they are this color blue right. and that became nidera uh, ipswich docks which yeah. were a dutch company and it's now called cough i'll get that muddled up now cough cough con i think right. it is i'll get it muddled up with cost on the box line right yeah, yeah. cough co that's what yeah. it's called yeah. and it's got some they're t Chinese. They've got, I think they've got some Chinese letters on the cabs, mm, but I'm not sure. But it's still this same colour blue. They've got a fleet of Atrosses now. But this isn't a local truck. Uh, Normans had, and I don't think they had these new, but they had the two, 808 and 809 RTL. And I think TL is a Lincolnshire number. So at some point, these weren't sold originally locally by Duffields of East Anglia. They're not East Anglian trucks. Mm and I couldn't find my little list of numbers I've got of the old registration system. Mm. So that's a bit of a mystery how they come to come down here, but Brian bought this from Volvo, and he used it, and he sold it to Colin Moss, his trailer fitter, when he was self-employed, and then when Colin had some bad debts, he had to pack up, and Brian bought it back. Mm. So that's been running around here. I came here as a driver in 94, and it came soon after then, about 95 I reckon because Colin had a blue road train and it's been here ever since but it's hardly been on the road mm. and Brian said he hadn't actually got it started for five years until today which is amazing and it mm. is grubby and the door doesn't shut and it is rusty mm. but the air is holding up the oil pressure is fine the gears work it probably hasn't been in fifth for years that's <laughs> what I call fifth is first yeah. four with four yeah. on top so if, Fifth is first with the range change yep. up. So it's been good to give it a little run, isn't it? And that's a sweet, that, sweet as a nut, really. That ran well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it stinks. Yeah, I think yeah, if we spent yeah. enough time with it, we'd both be in hospital. But <laughs> we're still standing. But when you look at this truck, you know, you've got that list in your hand. I mean, give me, yes. give me some of the names from that well, list. Because I think that's, that's well, like this, a... Well, this, um, this is a in some ways a historical record of people that ran trucks yeah. in the 80s uh, and I, it took me a couple of days to put this together but I don't know how long Eric Giles 
Ricky is running his business now. He only had one mm -hmm. XCL 790X. And Brian Hubbard just come in here driving for, working for Jonathan Few, which is bizarre. He had mm -hmm. one that came from Norfolk and Suffolk Pigs. EMH 670V. I remember seeing him in it, Carton Sugar Beet. Quinton, so I don't know if you remember yeah, the animal remember feed that. people. Yeah, they yeah. had blowers at Needham Market. Wilding and Smith had Tibbers, dozens. Tibbers? Yeah, they, they yeah. basically sold sand and ballast yeah. and gravel and, and delivered it from the pits at Brightwall. They were yellow, yeah. weren't they? Wilding right. and Smith. Yeah, I remember. See, and, and this just isn't a tractor unit. Oh, you haven't mentioned that. There was a lot of these on cement mixers yeah. as rigids and tippers and fridge boxes. So it's not, usually an F10 is a tractor unit. Yeah. These were not. A lot of these were on cattle floats, yeah. bulk, bulk tippers. Um, Derek Cooper, he had an army of F7s. Mm. G and G transport. Frost's had one at Stanton, which was X, P and O. And David Scarf, we saw this morning. Yeah. I've seen a picture of him stood in front of EBJ 340T in Ferrymaster's colours, and it was brand new in 78. So these vehicles were all over the place, weren't they? This. Yeah. F7. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is an East Anglian list, yeah. but they were countrywide. And Volvo's a very popular brand. Yeah. They are a popular yeah. product, and they are a good product. So are their cars. There's nothing wrong with them. Marlow's. See, that's another... They did have a tractor unit doing roof choice, but yeah. they had a lot of rigids to do the little deliveries with cranes, with high abs. Mm -hmm. Bob Harrod in the Aerith, I know he had two. I know Loadwell had two. Walpole and Wrights used to do a lot of grain and malt. They're still going at right. Deerham, and they've got mm -hmm. some lorries at Misley for Edme on the mm -hmm. malt. Yeah. I had no end of them at 38 ton. Peter Barrow Heavy Haulage, Andrew Denny at Hitcham, H.J. Rawlinson, they're from Sybil Headingham. RPS are still going, mm -hmm. which is Robert Pearl and Stephen Duff. Three Rivers Transport at Sudbury, they went bust. R.C. Bell, who were near Colchester. I know Harris Transport had one specifically to do a sugar job. Oh, right. I used to import sugar mm -hmm. from Denmark mm -hmm. and they had a little tipper that is bulk sugar mm -hmm. and this was the only lorry they could get that was light enough to carry what the mass that was in the box. Mm -hmm. So it hadn't got the power to pull it mm -hmm. but because it was so light it could legally take it. Get inside the way. Which is ridiculous yeah. because logically we've had here before you want the strength and the yeah. power to pull the biggest loads mm -hmm. but you can't because it's overweight. Humes had a lot of livestock trucks at this. FW mm. Hume, they were yeah. brown. Mm. They had a lot of F7s. Richard Granville had one tipper. Do you remember Tucks of Burston? Yeah, I do. They yeah. had F7s yeah. on blower tippers. When these trucks came towards the end of their lives, in effect, what took over from them? What was the next thing that... Uh, FLs. FLs. Yeah. First FL I ever saw was January 86. Right. And then we looked at FLs, didn't we? Yes, well that's yeah. what Jim has got. Yeah. Jim yeah. Farrow, that Leggett's one, but his is a 94, so that's quite a late FL. Yeah. The early FL 10s were Sea Ridge. And they just set these up for capacity and... Well, they were just a step forward, Right. is the answer. They had a, a better cab, but people could argue about that, because mm -hmm. their cross-cab access was crap. They were still too small, they were a bit plastically and tinny, mm -hmm. but they'd go out there and do the job, but they weren't, they're not made and these weren't. They're not designed to go out five nights out in. No. People went to no. Europe in these no. things. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think he's got any lorries on the road anymore. Right. But he was from Great Moulton, which I think was near Fakeman. 